How's it going? <clears throat> I got this uh, FGN Fuji Gen Telecaster neck. Um, it's awesome. It's just so thick. I gotta, I'm gonna make a soft V out of it. It's my favorite profile. The only guitar I ever sold that I missed was a GNL Legacy. Um, USA GNL Legacy back in the days when that's the only legacy you could get because they didn't make them in Indonesia. <clears throat> and um, I'm gonna take a razor file and I'm gonna make it a different neck profile. There's not a whole lot of things on the YouTubes about this. Um, I know that I can do it because I had an old Squire Strat neck lying around and I experimented on it and it came out really well. And I was like, well, hell, I can do that. So here I go, starting with that puppy. So I've just gently marked uh, where with the file, where I'm gonna take these shoulders off, where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna leave the middle because who knows how deep that, um, well, I do know how deep that truss rod is. It's right there. Um, so I'm gonna have this gradually go to a C. I've measured this at the 12th fret and at the first fret, and this is almost identical. Um, once it is a soft V, it'll be almost identical to a, uh, a Clapton V in terms of measurements and how deep the, um, the V is. So I'm gonna gradually, it'll gradually come back into a fat C slash U. Well, we've entered the mother of God, what have I done phase which is normal. Just stay the course, take your time. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm currently at like a, I don't know, a boat neck. I might stop there. Okay, so I've, I've stopped short of a V, I'm more in like a boat neck situation, um, which is nice. And I started with the really coarse part of the file and I've moved to the smoother part of the file and I've left some shoulder, and I use the smooth part of the file to uh, have a transition between the freshly filed and the untouched. Um, now I'm gonna go in, after I finish the smaller file, I'm gonna go in with some coarse sandpaper, um, and then work my way down to fine sandpaper, and eventually I'll be at 1500, and then I'll slap some linseed, some boiled linseed oil on this and let it dry, try it out. All right, so here it is. I smoothed it out. It looks more brutal than it is. It's actually pretty damn smooth. And I put some linseed, some boiled linseed oil on it. Yeah, it's ugly, but it feels good. So, like many things in life, <laughs> well, you know how it goes. Okay, so I'm letting that dry in the garage. <clears throat> I'm going to go back in with some quadruple aught steel wool when it's dry give it a rub down and then put some tongue oil on let it dry again repeat so i'll have one layer of linseed two uh, layers of tongue um but while i'm thinking about it uh i have the practice neck and i'm going to show you the v that i got on that in some decent light so this is off an affinity squire um june 1997 um, and this is the, the soft V I ended up doing. You can really see it in the light there. Um, and it came out really well. It feels good. Um, obviously I had way more material to remove off that um, telly neck than I did off this one. So uh, I'm not going as steep V on that one. Also, I don't want to take too much material off because it's hard to put back on. Quadruple lot. This is after the first layer of linseed oil. It's dried. Tongue oil. Uh, I've heard that tongue oil is more water resistant and um, dries a little quicker than boiled linseed. Um, I also read a thing that said I could use Japan dryer to put on that there first to help this dry, but I'm like, if the whole point is getting the oil into the pores to seal it, why would I put something that makes it dry faster on there? I'll just put it on there and leave it for a day. No shortcuts. I'm not sure if this is translating, but it's very, 
very smooth, even though it looks rough because it's taken that last finish off. Just gonna have that dry with the tongue oil. I'll come back in. I'll sand it down again with some quadruple lot steel wool and let it do it one more time. So it's done. There it is. Um, it's very smooth. It's, you know, a different color because obviously I didn't, whatever kind of varnish or I don't know if it was nitro or lacquer or whatever they got, but um, for polyurethane. Um, would I do it again? Yeah, it I think I only took about a millimeter off the shoulders, uh, maybe a millimeter and a half, but you know what? It's just that much easier when I'm doing, you know, it's just that much easier. So, and I keep, I like my thumb up here. Well, why don't you just relearn how to play guitar, right? Because I've been doing it for 30 years and I like it how I like it. That's why, okay. Um, yeah, I would totally do it again. Uh, I went for more of a boat neck. I, could I have taken more material off? Yes. Am I glad I didn't? Yes. Um, and, you know, why, why not just put a new neck on? Because the neck pocket on this is stupid. Look at it. It's like, I can't, this came in the mail. It's like thin, shiny paper. I can't even fit it in there. It's amazing neck pocket. It's amazing fret work. I don't want a new neck. I just wanted this one to get out of the way. So, uh, yeah, you can do it. Take your time.